Hi everyone, nice to see you again this week. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria, where there are no kangaroos. In this guitar lesson, I'll teach you one of my old time, time favorite Kenny Burrell songs, and it's called Midnight Blue. It's kind of a jazz minor blues, but it have, has a longer song form. It's 16 bars instead of 12. And we have an A section with single notes mostly, and a B section which is in chord melody style. Isn't that nice? Um, I'm going to show you the entire tune in a couple of uh, seconds. After that, I'll explain everything note for note, slow and easy for you. There's also a slow tempo version towards the end of this lesson. I made tabs and backing tracks, which you can, as always, download from the description box down below the video. All right, let's dig into Midnight Blue. Minor Blue is a minor blues-ish kind of song and we have an intro that is 8 bars long, then we have an eight, A section that is 8 bars long and is only in F minor, and then we have the chord melody stuff which is the B part and is also uh, 8 bars long. So the song form is 16 bars plus an 8 bar intro. I use hybrid picking all the way through which means I use my fingers and pick simultaneously. All right, let's dig in. All right, let's start with the intro of the song. I'll play it at regular speed first for you at regular tempo, then I'll break it all down for you slow and easy and explain it, and then I play along to the uh, slow down backing at track. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, one. We're in the key of F minor and what we have here is an excerpt of the F minor chord here and this is a regular triad. That's the root third of the uh, D string and then we bar on the first of the G and B strings on the, on the first fret. I play with my pick, the middle and the ring finger. Then I go over to the third fret and that's a G minor. I play the exact same thing here but on the fifth, third and third. So, and we start on the one end. One and two is a rest, then we are on three. One and two, three, four is a rest again. Then we go up the scale and we get the, uh, the fourth degree of the scale and that's the A flat. Um, that's the uh, sixth of the D, the fifth end of, of the G and the fourth of the uh, B string. So that's the next bar and that's the count number one. One, two is a rest again and then we go back to our G minor, five, three, three. So and these are two bars and they are repeated. So we have one and two, three, four, one, two and, one and two, three, four, one, two and, again. And now we do the exact same thing, uh, one octave higher. That's not in the original song. I, I just went for it because I thought it's more interesting. So I just 
transpose this up an octave and I have a different voicing though. So this is an F minor triad as well derived from this D minor triad. You know that D minor triad? D, E flat, E, F minor. Here we go. That's the uh, fourth of the E, the sixth of the B and the fifth of the G string. So one and then the G minor is two frets up. Six, eight, seven, and then the A flat uh, major chord is here. That's the uh, eighth, ninth, and eight of the upper three strings, and back to the G minor. All right, these are the second degree of the E flat major scale the third, the fourth, and the third again. So actually this is not in F minor, it's in F Dorian, for those of you who are interested in this. And now I'm gonna play this, uh, I'll, I'll play this with the uh, play along. This is the head now, which is the main melody, and we're in the A section, and we have an eight bar motif. Uh, actually, it's a four bar motif, which is being repeated twice. I'll show it to you at regular speed first, then I'll explain it to you again. One, two, three, four. <laughs> We're in the F minor pentatonic, or actually blue scale. This is the area we're in. This is the uh, sixth to ninth fret here. And I start on the root on the eighth fret of the A string, sixth of the D, and back to the eighth. And we start on count four and that's important. One, two, three, four. Three, four. And then I add the blue note, which is on the ninth fret of the D string. I could play this now like this, but this is very uncomfortable, so I use my index and my middle finger. I'm on the eighth fret now of the D string. I hammer to the ninth. I pull it off again, and then I slide to the sixth fret. So these are four notes played, picked only once. Four sixteen notes, and then right after that, on beat number uh, three, I think it is, no four, we are back to the root, eighth fret of the A string. This is very quick. Then on the sixth and the eighth. The last one has to be the one. rest and then I play the 8 and 8 fret of the uh, D and G strings just a short one 3 4 and 2 and 3 4 and 1 2 and again okay then the second phrase I go up there, so it's kind of the uh, call and, a call and response, answer and reply for uh, our motif. Eighth fret again of the A, sixth of the D, eight of the D, and sliding up to the next pattern here, F minor pattern, on the tenth fret. Then eight of the G and tenth of the G. One, two, three. And now I play the exact same thing as before. I go to the 8th fret of the D string, 
hammer pull onto the uh, blue note, slide down. I'm back in my old pattern again. Eight of A, six of A, and eight of A. Okay. Eight, nine, eight, six, eight, six, eight. All right, the second one. One, two, three. So this is quick, like in the first one. All right, here's the whole thing slow, and then I do it slow again with the uh, playback. One, two, three, four. This is uh, repeated. This is the B section already. This is the beautiful chord melody part. I'll show it to you quickly and then just phrase four, uh, three, sorry, and then I'll explain it in detail. One, two, three. All right, we start on count number three and of the uh, A section. And our first chord is an A flat six, nine. The root would be here on the 11th of the A string, that's an A flat, but we don't play, we just play upper chords now in the beginning. We start with the 10th of the D string, bridge over, but don't let it ring together to the G string on the 10th. And then I add my ring finger to the 11th of B and E. And now I play the three upper strings. You can play all four, it doesn't matter, but I play the three upper strings. Right, so 10, 10, 10, 11, 11. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three. Then we always start on three and now. We play uh, the ninth and the eleventh of the E string. And we have a G flat, uh, what is it, ninth chord. G flat would be here on the 9th fret of the A, we don't play it. We start on the 8th of the D, bridging over to the 9, 9, 9 uh, bar chord on the um, G, B and E strings. Play all four strings. You can hybrid pick or strum through them. I do it uh, differently all the time. Oops, yeah. Then I have the 8th and 9th of the E string, I glide over, bridge over to the 9th of the B string and the 10th of the G string. This is part of an F minor chord. Okay, so our chords are A flat major to G flat mixolydian and to F minor, but just up here. And now it's only those two, the ninth of the B and the tenth of the uh, G. Then I put my index on the sixth fret, but I only play the B string. You can play it like this too, but I prefer it like this, because now I can add my B flat seven chord. And this is kind of a cowboy style chord, and I strum through all the strings until I'm up on the B string. I don't play the E string. This is the sixth of the uh, E, the eighth of the A, the sixth by barring, yeah, the seventh of the G and the ninth, and this is our melody tone, the ninth of the B. So don't play the E string, just up till here. Sometimes I also played hybrid picking, and then I play only the bass, the G string and the B string. That's a little bit thinned out, but sometimes I just strum through it. 
And here's phrase number three at slow tempo. One, two, three. And here we are at the last four bars of the song. This is phrase number four. One, two, three. All right, we start on the fifth of the uh, G string, then the sixth of the B string. This is our regular three and uh, set in one, two, three, and four, and gives us the chord again. And this time it's a B flat minor nine chord. The root would be here on the sixth. We don't play it. Six, six, six of D, G, B strings, and the eighth of the E string. B flat minor nine chord this is. Then I lift my pinky up, play the sixth of the E string, and the eight again. So this is the pickup for the next chord. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the next chord is the same as the previous one, but two down, and this is an A flat minor nine chord. Four of D, G, B, Bard, and the sixth of the E. Right. I lift my pinky off again, fourth, back to the sixth, and now I have a C7, what is it, C7 sharp 9 flat 13 chord. This is, let's see to get you a good angle, here, second of the D string, the third of the G, and the fourth and fourth of the B and the E string. Right, C7 sharp 9 flat 13, or short C altered. <laughs> All right. And now I have a little melody going on, and this time we don't wait till count number three end. It's just one beat later on count number two. One. Okay, what we do is the ring finger remains on the B string, Glides over to the 6th fret, 6th of the B, 4th of the B, alternate picking in your right hand, 5th uh, of the G, 4th of the B string, and 2 times, twice on the 6th of the B string. Regular blues phrase of an F minor, here's the F minor, okay, we had it in the intro. This is just kind of uh, arpeggiating that chord. Coming from the C7 altered. Ah, uh, three, four, and one. And then we shape a C7 sharp nine. I guess you know this chord. Third of the A string, second of the D string. These are playing being played after each other. And then simultaneously we played a third of the, uh, what is it, G and a fourth of the B string. Oh no, just once. One and two and three, four. One. And here's the entire phrase at slow tempo for you. One, two, three.
Thanks for stopping by and watching my guitar tutorial on Midnight Blue. If you liked watching the video and had as much fun as I had teaching it, please give me a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. Also, hit that little bell notification if you never want to miss out on a new video and subscribe to my channel. There's lots of chord melody and lead guitar stuff on here. I see you next time. Servus from Vienna. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Thank you.